Hi guys, welcome back to the final part of Friday the 13th Enclosure. Quite enjoyed this one, um, it's made me sort of think about new skills, especially painting the mask and stuff. Um, it's been an awesome build. Um, what will be happening though is after I finished obviously this one, um, I'm going to build another one, almost exactly the same. But this one um, will be auctioned off for charity, a um, few of you might know but I've got arthritis in my wrist so it will be auctioned off and sold and all proceeds will be going to versus arth arthritis which um I done um 10,000 steps challenge I think last year so um it's by sort of bit put something back into there right let's get down to it um uh, today we're going to be covering obviously the expanding foam what we've done with that um and basically setting up the enclosure and rehousing. So what do we put in this enclosure? Let's go and find out. Thanks guys. All right, so we've covered up all the holes inside with mesh. We've basically built a light unit and fitted it on a stand. So next thing we're gonna do is stick it onto the back of the exoterra. So all this side bit will be covered. So we need to work out where the wiring's gonna go. This will stop the um, expanding plan coming through as well. All right, so we're stuck it in place. We're also masked up anywhere where I don't want the spray foam to ruin the mask. So we're just going to cover around all the edges, all the wire and basically the back bit first and then we'll do the two sides. All right, so that's the thing. So when you add it straight onto the glass, you need to lie it flat. Otherwise it will just fall down in one mess and we'll leave it flat until it's set. It's quite a time consuming thing. This was, all that was one small tin. So you've got to bear that in mind. This is probably going to take two, three small tins or one massive tin. Um, I could have added like polystyrene and gone that way, but we're doing this way without the wooden inserts this time. And we're going to cover the black back of the glass and round the sides all in black vinyl so we don't see this monkey spray foam and it should be a nice, neat finish. All right, let's get, wait until next side. Right, so we've sprayed two sides. As you can see, I just joined the branch there onto the side of the glass, so the foam's gonna hold that in place. As soon as we start adding all the cocoa fiber rock effect. So one more side, just going in another tin, and then there's the mammoth carving task all right so we've covered everything all three sides with expanding foam so now we're going to start carving it all out and sort of trying to decide where i want the sort of rocky areas to go and where i don't want rocky areas so all of this it's better to add too much and then carve back than the other way around it's quite simple to carve it just use the Stanley blade and just hack about it. You can't really go wrong with it, really. Once you've covered it in cocoa fiber or rock effect, if you go in rock effect, you want it nice and jaggedy. First thing to do is just carve it all out and get it to where I want it. All right, so we've added loads of texture walls and I think we're just going to cocoa fiber it all actually. A gap in the top so we can squeeze silicon down there. All the mask is masked up again so we don't get any all over freshly painted mask. Yes, next bit. Right, so we're using HA6 aquarium sealant we're going to cover everything and then just cover it with cocoa fiber
Alright, we covered it all. Now we're going to push all the cocoa fibre onto the silicone. Now what we've got to do, just leave it to cure, and then we'll start upsetting up the plants and everything else. Right, to hide all this manky thing, we've got black vinyl. Right, so we added vinyl to the bottom. I kind of like that, it hides the sub, but we've added loads of live moss and plants. Little cork bark hide down there. Quite pleased with the outcome actually. It looks kind of cool. Once it starts growing in a bit more, look way cooler. Next thing is to add the spider. As you can see, once it starts growing in, it'll look awesome. I love this live moss, it's just collected outside, I clean it all off and then quarantine it for a bit, make sure there's no beasties in there, and then, uh, then it's ready to use. Right guys, so it's got its pilot place in between that one, these two, so the Evil Dead enclosure is going, which must mean I'm going to do a better updated Evil Dead enclosure of course right so a lot of you might know what is in here is an avicularia, avicularia cueta so what we're going to do is put this one into this one so let's see how this goes Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to try break some of this web away. Yeah, oh, we've got a mulch there. We'll have a look down there, so you've got this awesome web tunnel all the way down there. So what we're going to try and do... Might be the easiest way. Shine. Put that there. As it's in the tube, we're going to just try and poke it upwards and out. There you go. That way, that way, that way, that way. Wee! And she's in. There she is, on the way up back there. And she webbed up good on this one, so hopefully 
she's gonna do the same in here. So there we go, guys. We can see this one's finished. She's chilling out on the mask. She's got a nice little hole down there. She went in quite well. I'm quite pleased with this. Sort of thing to go either side with Goonies and Predator. Awesome. Well, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Means a hell of a lot. Uh, that's why I did try and give you guys a, bit, a little bit of inspiration. Um, I tried to do this a little bit simpler than the Predator enclosure and stuff, so we didn't do the wood background. And I think the vinyl around the sides is um, pretty much the way I'm going to start going for um, on the next build. As I said, uh, I'm going to be doing another Friday 13th one. Um, I might cover it a little bit on the channel because um, I'm going to do a different background. I'm going to just do a plain rock effect with branches and other stuff coming out. So it'll be a little bit more special for someone, obviously, to bid on and win. As usual, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. That's why I do it. I, you know, just uh, reached over 6,000 followers on Instagram. It's like, um, it's kind of strange, actually. Uh, you <laughs> you guys want to see a crazy cockney just build silly enclosures. But um, while you keep watching them, I'll still keep doing them. As usual, thumbs it up. Comment down below. Um, hit that notification bell. It notifies you of upcoming videos, doesn't cost you a penny, but it means a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.